Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel, Ashley Empowers. I'm Ashley. And I'm Carrington. And you're tuned in to another episode of 802. Carrington. Time. So me and my husband Carrington are back with another episode of 802 Game Time where we answer the questions that you guys send in about relationships, your walk with God, or anything in general. And before we jump into the questions, we do want to remind you guys that we are currently on tour. Our first stop is Dallas, Texas, September 16th, and we're going to be in Dallas, Houston, Atlanta, New, New York, York or Orlando, Orlando, and we want to meet you guys to get all the information and get your tickets, the link is in the description box, datingwithpurpose.org. And if your city is not there and you want us to come to your city, still go to datingwithpurpose.org and you can request your city because we're adding more dates as the tour goes on. So, Carrington's going to read the question. So today's question says, hey, I wanted to know how do you move past your own insecurities to pursue the things God has placed in your heart? My biggest issue is that is I know that I struggle with consistency and I don't want to start something and not be able to maintain it. But the passion is there to help others. And I even do it now in small ways. I have been feeling like I need to step out, but the fear of not being able to maintain is holding me back. Please help. Okay. Can I start this one yeah. off? Pretty much you have to understand that your purpose is not all about you. When you understand that what God has called you to do is going to benefit and bless so many people, then you can stop being selfish about not finishing things and understand that your purpose is going to serve the greater good. Sure. Get your eyes off of your feelings. Get your eyes off of not being consistent and yeah. get your eyes on Christ, his purpose and assignment for your life. Because one of my favorite scriptures is Ecclesiastes. I believe it's chapter nine, verse 10. It says that whatever your hand finds to do, do it with all of your might because in the grave, where you're going, there's no toiling, there's no working, there's none of that. So while you have breath in your lungs, take advantage of this time and be consistent and do what God is calling you to do because you're going to impact so many people because at the end of the day, it's not about you. For sure. And I asked one of my mentors one day about consistency and his response was, the reason why you're not consistent is because you don't care enough. You don't really believe that on the other side of that thing that you're supposed to be consistent with is what your is what your desire, you know, your desired goal is. So what I would advise is one, fix your perspective about the will of God and understand, like Ashley was saying, like it's not about you. Like God put you all here on for a purpose to get him glory and he's gonna glorify you through giving him glory. So you have to understand that, like she said, it's not about you. And so you got to cancel all the selfishness in your mind, right? So we can get that consistency, consistency together. And then also understand if God called you to do something, he put everything in you that you need to get it done. So because he's already made the deposit, he's in a position to be able to try to, with, well, not even try. He's in a position to withdraw from you because he put it in you, right? And the last thing I would advise is stop seeing yourself in a situation and see God in the situation. We all have God in us through the Holy Spirit. And so when it comes to situations that he allows us to find ourselves in, we have to understand that, yo, we can't get it done anyways. Like us as human beings by ourselves, we can't, we don't have nothing. Like we don't have the ability to get it done. So the only reason we can do the awesome things that God has called us to do is because God is in us and he's working through us as willing vessels. So you have to stop seeing yourself in a situation, see God in a situation and trust that he'll do whatever it is that he desires for you to do through you. Yes, 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 and yes. So thank you so much for sending in this sending in this question. Definitely also check out my website because I have programs on how to help you turn your vision to fruition. And I really just break down what it really looks like to step out and walk in your purpose. So sure. you can check that out on my website, ashleyempowers.com. But other than that, we appreciate you sending in this question. And if anyone else out there has questions for caring to deny, feel free to email us at info, info at 802gametime.com or make sure you're following us on social media. I'm at Ashley Empowers. And I'm at the Fit Pastor. And we'll see you guys next time. Peace out. 802. Okay. Ah! What? The phone dropped. Are you okay? Did that hurt for real? I'm good. Okay, sorry. All right. Okay.